Hi everyone, welcome to Love Blue Creations. I'm Felicia. And I'm Jules. And we have a great, beautiful wreath to make with you guys today. I'm so excited to do this one. I'm always excited to do these. Um, but first, I want to say hello to all of our subscribers. Hey people. I, <laughs> hey, I've seen your comments. I've read your comments. But I'm not good at responding. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm going to work on that. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I respond to both of us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. But thank you so much for liking and subscribing for your comments. Thank you for your positive um, comments for us as well. This means a lot to us. We do a lot trying to make sure that we have a good channel for everyone and, and anybody that's new coming in can see that you know we put a passion into what we do and I thank you so much for appreciating uh, And something I want to add is that a lot of you guys are inspirational dude. Y'all say a lot of good stuff and we build on that feedback. We do. We do. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. So ready? Let's, Let's read. Oh, oh, I'm are sorry. you hungry? <laughs> Wait, we haven't I, had lunch yet. Okay. We haven't had lunch yet, right? Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, let's read. Let's read. Uh, so right, we're gonna let's, no, let's read. Let's read. Show you the ingredients. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. It's All right. So let's start. Recipe. Today's recipe, wreath recipe, starts with a 36-inch pine base swag, teardrop swag. This is in our shop. You're welcome to purchase one from our shop. Yep. 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 We're going to use this pretty flocked um, pine stem. This came from Hobby Lobby. We're going to use absolutely. several of these. Absolutely. absolutely. And I'll have everything linked um, in my uh, description so you'll know where to get Oh, them. wait. Hold on. Hold on. Booyah. Affiliate with Hobby oh, yeah. Lobby. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not affiliate with Hobby Lobby. Woohoo! So I'm excited. All right. All right. So uh, we're going to use... Um, so this, this piece is a lot of whites and some black and white. So you're going to see why in a minute. So we're gonna use this stem, a couple of these stems from Hobby Lobby. Can, can I answer that question? Yes, go ahead. So um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we started talking about this project, right? And so we hadn't come to a conclusion about what all was gonna go into it until Thursday. Keep that in mind. <laughs> all right, I, I just had to say okay. that. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Okay. How uh, we kept going back and forth. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So I'm using this stem. I showed this to you all. This is in our shop as well. This is new to our shop, so we're gonna add some some of these blacks. So we're gonna we're gonna tear this apart and, and take it out as picks. We're also gonna use this pearl colored stem just to have some sprays around um, the swag is that as, in well. Your shop as well. This is in our shop as well. Oh. Okay. Hey. All right. Some more white picks. And I'm considering using either one or both of these um, gems. And these came from Hobby Lobby. They got gems, you guys. So how cool is that? All right. And then we're going to be using um, two of these, maybe one, I don't know, two of these large, I think these are about seven inch, um, seven inch ornaments. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And we're going to be using some beautiful ribbon. Got all of this from Craft Text. Got some Harlequin Black. How pretty is that black? I love it. I love it. And I'm just going to add a pop of red if I don't use the red gem, but I want to add a little bit of red to the bow. So this is going to be kind of monochromatic, just kind of black and white. But here's, here is the main focal point. This big guy. Does he, need some, does, he, does he need some background music or something to show? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. But anyway, isn't he cute? I love it. I got this from Craft Text also. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Oh, no. We're going to use this as well. Craft Text. It's beautiful black point. Oh, that's right. That's right. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. All right. Okay, now. Let us read. Let's wreath and then we'll eat. Okay, so listen, listen. <laughs> I was on a pit all day yesterday, and uh, I was on a pit, and we did I, and ribs, ribs, chicken, sausage, boudin, boudin as well. Yeah. So anyway, but we're that's ready. why I'm like, let's eat. <laughs> all right, all right. You all ready? Right. Yes. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, so for this particular design, we're going to put the mesh around the perimeter of the pine base and then I'm gonna use these pine picks that I showed you, the flock pine picks, and we're gonna add them to the center. So we don't need to have any uh, mesh in the center because we'll have the pine base picks, all right? So here we go. So each piece of mesh is gonna be measured and I just kinda hold it up like this, about 10 to 15 inches a piece. And I just cut the pieces. I'm just going to show you a couple of them before we stop because I don't want to, you know, bore you all. We just curl the uh, curl it, cinch it in the center, 
and then we're just gonna tie it around the perimeter just like this so find some perimeter um, pine ties and again this is strictly for platform to be able to add our picks and so forth okay again we let it do what it's gonna do it's rolling and then we cinch it and we're going to tie it around the perimeter so we're not going to do all the center of it right correct all right we just only the edges only the edges because this allows the edges to be a little bit more um, gives it more fullness on the edge, it extends it out more on the perimeters. Alright, All right, so let's do this. I'm going to pause it. Okay. Let's knock it out. Sure. Alright, so next we're going to add the flop picks and we're going to have, add them to the center. Well, just want to show you how the, the swag looks. So it's, we want to flatten out the center because we want as flat as it can be because we want to add the pine, the flop picks as well. So I think the pine cones, see these pine cones? Yeah. Can we take those off? Yes. Yes. Right, let's cut right, those let's, off. All right. We I got that. Okay. So we're going to add it just like this. So we're going to have a, a flop pick at the end. Then we're going to have one in the center. And then for the top one, I want it facing up like this because this is going to go behind mm -hmm. the owl. And I need one more in the center. Can you tell me? Can you tell me why? Um, your deal is so much better than mine. What do you mean? So mine does not have the spring. In oh it. well, this is one I had prior to me buying one with the spring. So this is just an extra one hundred. Okay, okay. So yeah, I get you, it. I this get is. It. Anyway, once I realized I could get one with the spring, I was done. But I didn't want to throw it away. It's a good. It's a good cutter. You know? Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. All right, so let me go ahead and get these off. Go ahead and finish. Which ones are done? Put these over here for you. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so I put two going this way, and I got two going this way, but I tied the pine base on it around the stem, and I'm gluing it at also for extra reinforcement and I so want to cut that <laughs> it's gonna get covered up we won't see it okay but if we need to cut it we'll cut it so I think I want this one to go a little higher because this one's gonna go behind the owl the owl is gonna go at the top y'all I'm coming to you from a secret location I can't tell you where I'm at but here's what I'm gonna tell you we had three days to discuss content right and what we were gonna do, and we both agreed and disagreed, but here we go. Once we agreed, I went shopping. But we out. Check that out, check that out. In her own craft room, again. So anyway, secret location. Don't tell anybody, but here we go. Let's do this. All right, so next I want to add my owl, and the owl is going to be at the top of my wreath, and I'm going to reinforce him with the pine ties around his legs, just like that. However, what I would like is I need some more flockness at the top, so that way it's you see the flockiness around him at the, the top. Flockiness. The, <laughs> the flocky. Dude. I don't know. Uh, the flockiness. So let's do that really okay, quick. Okay. Okay. And get that on there. Make sure it's glued on really good. Wrapped it around the pine ties. Glue that in, and I like the fact that it's sticking up like that. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. So, and if we need to, I can reinforce them also with uh, zip tie. Wire. Wire or zip tie? Zip tie. Either Let's or. do a zip tie. So I'm gonna okay. zip tie. <laughs> I'm going to zip tie his leg as well right. to the base of of the pine yeah. of the swag. There's the spine of the swag. There we go. Almost. Oh, wait, I can't see anything. Thank you. Oh, that's hot glue, dude. Yeah, that's hot. Okay, perfect. All right. Get around one of those legs. And we're also going to have to glue them 
I hate having to glue him, but that's the nature of making wreaths. You gotta glue these beautiful pieces to get, you know, onto your your base. And I lost it. I want it directly around the spine of this swag. Double reinforcement there. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Okay. Got it. Through? Yep. Okay. Let's get around his leg. Yep. Okay. Push them on there. Perfect. Thank you. Two hands are definitely better than one. You got four hands. <laughs> there we go. All right. All Good. Right. Yes. Okay, so let's get them secured. Okay. And uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, let me glue the back of them. Okay. All right. I'll pause it. Okay. okay, so something I realized is that I need him to be kind of laying down more. So in order for me to do that, even if I glued it, it probably wouldn't stick. So what I'm going to do is use a floral wire, a floral pin, use a wire, and I'm going to stick the um, floral wire through the back of the of the owl and make sure it's glued for the reinforcement. So let's turn to the side. Yep, turn to the side. So oh, I can't see. Look at that. There you go. So we'll just do this. So I'm going to stick it right through, just like that. It's styrofoam. Wait, wait. Glue. I know. I'm going to glue it. And I'm going to glue it on for that reinforcement. Okay. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. And then all I'm going to do is tie the wire around this pick, the the flock pick, right? I'm not going to do it right now. It needs to go. It needs to um, set set for a little bit. So hope y'all got an idea of what I'm doing. That way, I'll be able to push this owl against the base of the floral pick, and it's going to be sturdy. All right, so something that I want to do and I realized when I looked at it, I need more wintry, that wintry look around my winter owl. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the same picks and I'm going to just add a pick on each side of him. Okay, and then we'll tie it around the, the pine base and just kind of fan Can it. cut those? No, we don't need to <laughs> We don't need to cut. Just like that and see how, how pretty that looks now that he has more of a wintry look around him. And don't be afraid, like if you got your pine base in the way, clip that away. No biggie. All right, so let me get these glued in. Real simple, we'll just wrap it around and get it glued in. And I love how it's looking so far, I'm so excited. All right. All right, so next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add my beautiful sparkly white ornaments and we're gonna kind of cut a quarter them like you this. Call them ornaments. They're all ornaments. What are they? Ball ornaments. <laughs> That's what they are. Okay. I just had to hear you <laughs> say it. Ornaments. All right. So, and um, just kind of cut a quarter them on the swag. But here's a trick that I have. I always like to glue my tip of my ornament. That way, it just gives it a double reinforcement to make sure it doesn't come apart. And these don't look like they will, but Y'all know ornaments come apart, right? So then what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. wait, I just want to show them what I'm going to do real quick. So I'm just going to take this wire and thread it through the hole of the ornament holder, and then I'm going to wire that into the brief base, just like that, All okay? Right. So I want to give it a second to dry, and I'm going to do the other one, and we'll be right back. All right, so now that we got the ball secured in, really good, our ornaments are in, I want to add this beautiful sparkly black poinsettia in the center of them, just like that. Okay, so, and it's, uh, I had to reinforce it with some black um, pipe cleaner because it was coming apart at the bottom. So we're just going to stick it through. I'm going to glue it in and stick it through the pine base, just like that. So let's add the glue. Be generous with your glue. I'm going to Home Depot. I'm going to get my own glue going. <laughs> You can go on my Amazon and buy it. There you go. We got our Amazon affiliate. Go to my Amazon shop. Perfect. Looks good right there. Awesome sauce. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right, next, I believe it is bow time. And then we'll start We'll start adding our picks. So let's do the bow. I'm going to have a bow at the bottom. Uh, ribbon again? One up here. Yeah. 
So here's so, the ribbon. Very pretty. So we got the Harlequin black and white. I'm gonna add a pop of red. And I think I'm gonna use this white as well. Because I'm going for a winter look for my wreath, but with the, the hints of black and and a little bit of red. So all right, so for my bow, this is a 2.5 inch um, ribbon, and I'm gonna use 1.5 inch black, uh, red and white as well. So my Harlequin is going to be two loops, six inch each. This is gonna be my bottom bow, and then these will be four and five inches uh, with one loop each. And then the bow that I'm gonna make on the side is gonna be one, one six inch loop on each side and then these will just be one five inches well. So this, the bottom bow is gonna be way bigger than the top bow. All right, so here we go. So, so are you saying it's bow time? Yes. It's bow, bow time. time. All right. All right, so uh, two bows were made. I made this one, and I that one. Jules yes, I made did. this one. So we're gonna put, he's getting better at bow making, y'all. So we're gonna put this one at the bottom, and we have this wires. Slide, this, this slide it yeah, down. Yeah, slide it down. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the, put it right here, right there at the. So, so there's wire underneath it. I'm sorry. So I wired it in the back. I secured it with a zip tie. And now we're going to use that wire and run it through the base of the swag. And we're going to tie it around the stem, the middle stem of the swag itself. Get it on there nice and securely. Make sure I can find my wire. There we go. And the other one. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yep. Right. Get it on there nice and secure. And somewhere along here, I'm going to add the gem, my gems, um, probably at the base of the of the bow. All right. So there, that's there. And I like how it has that little pop of red in it. I think that adds just a touch of elegance. And this one's going to go right on the side, just like that. So we're going to run this through the base as well. And we'll be right back. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna start adding my gems, and I think I wanna have a nice clear gem up here by my owl. I think that'll be really pretty. So I'm going to wire. Wait, I got this one. What? Ah! Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh my God, I forgot I had that one. I know, I know. <laughs> I, went I went shopping <laughs> in your craft room. Yes! Oh I my God, hon. And you know always, what? Always, always. You know what? Like, you know yes, I'm not and guess where that one's gonna go. Uh, I at the, at the bottom, bottom yeah. down here. Yeah, How pretty yeah. is that going to be? Yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to add my wire to this gem. And this gem came from Hobby Lobby. And we're just going to thread it through and um, glue it on as well. So I'm going to thread it through the base, the, the, this uh, flopped um, pick, just like that. So I'm thinking like the uh, the red one. 
Maybe on this side somewhere. I'll let you do it. Yeah. Okay, so. Definitely want this one down. Yeah, that one's going to be really pretty down there, huh? Great idea. Thank you for finding it. I forgot. Dude. You know, perfect. Dude, you got so much stuff in here. I know. All right. So, the red one. Probably, there you go. Right up here by him? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me get that wired in. This is going to be a fabulous tree. This is probably one of my favorites. Right. So again, I'm adding the wire to the stem, and we're going to put it right here at the top of our owl's head. Okay, let's get those done. Yeah, let's get them in. All right, so now we have the gems in. We're good to go. And here's what it's looking like so far. So, looking good, looking good in the neighborhood. All right, so now I think we need to go ahead and start adding our sprays. And um, just to give it some more pop of uh, that, that winter look. So I'm gonna focus on these sprays first. Again, these are from Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna be adding these, and we're going to also be adding these throughout, just to fill it in. These are like fillers. All right, so let's go ahead and chop off these red tags and we'll show them how we we'll glue them in. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and start adding my white sprays, and these are just gonna go around the perimeter of the uh, wreath itself, and just kinda of add a sparkle and a pop, a whimsical kind of look to the design so and it kind of adds keeps that winter look that I'm looking for as well and I have about 12 of these for this 36 inch wreath pine base swag all right so I just want to show them how I, I'm going to get them all around and then we'll glue them in so let me do that really quick I just want them to kind of see how I'm filling it out on the sides all right, so the next thing I wanna do is, these are gonna be my fillers, and so there's three picks on each one, so we're just gonna cut them down, and we're going to use them as fillers. So, the reason why I say that is we have this big gap right here, so we're just gonna, actually I could probably put a whole one right open there, just kinda cut this down, and just kinda stick it through and have it as a filler, so you don't see like, these gaps within the wreath. Okay, so it kind of keeps that wintry look that I'm looking for. And um, anywhere where we see a gap, we're just gonna fill it in. Fill it in and glue it in. Especially where we have, for me, like covering up some of the mesh kind of matters as well. And it's always good to have like a filler bush, you know? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start filling in the gaps, get these glued in, and show you the final product. All right, here we go. We're done? We are done. We're done, okay. The final reveal. The final reveal. <laughs> yes, all right, all right. oh my God, this is beautiful. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, so wait. Why do you dress like a wreath? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think you set me up. <laughs> I had it all planned out. All planned out. All right. So look how beautiful that owl is. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have our, our ornaments, our poinsettias. We've got the gems. Everything just bouncing. The pop of red and the black and white. And it just looks like it's sitting in, to me, a little winter garden. Winter our winter owl. All right. Absolutely. Yay. All right. So thanks for wreathing with us. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's and eat. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, uh, everyone.